Hello, I am Dylan Olson. I am very creative. I do a lot of artistic things. And in this video, I am going to show you how to draw the leader of Mystery Incorporated, Fred Jones from the Scooby-Doo franchise. So if you wanna follow along, get a nice piece of paper, a good pencil, and let's begin. So to start off, we will draw a light circle shape for the top of his head. And remember, always draw light at first. That way, when you make a mistake, you can erase it very easily. Now what I'm gonna do for the bottom of his face, I am going to draw kind of a rounded cube, except it's not gonna be an entire cube. We're going to draw this rounded cube shape for his lower chin. Now, we will draw kind of an oval shape for the top part of his hair. Kind of doing the basic shapes for now. And then a really long kind of a half of a rounded square shape for the back of his hair, like this. And now we're gonna draw his neckline. And then we'll draw like, we're not gonna draw his whole body, we're just gonna do like the top of his shirt, which is, I'm gonna draw this like sided and small to big rectangle. See this little thing right here? Like it's straight and then it's just called perspective. Smaller on this end and it's bigger right here. It's called perspective. And now we're gonna draw Kind of a triangle shape for the inside to indicate like the inside of his collar. This is folded. And then we'll draw a round shape. And then to make it look like it's wrapping around his neck, you'll create a little space there, like not down here because that wouldn't look like that well enough. Just draw like, almost looks like a ring. And then we gotta draw the knot of his collar. And then we're gonna draw kind of a leaf shape. And then we gotta draw like sort of half a triangle up here. And then a little bit of a smaller triangle on this side here. Make this a little bigger like that. And then I'm gonna draw kind of a, a half a U shape to indicate the fold on his side of the bow tie. And now let's get onto his face. We're gonna draw a center line going down the middle. It's not like we're gonna do it there. Like if you see, look at this little PVC pipe. There's the little line right there. It's curved on this one, and it's also curved here. But if you turn it, it's straight. Straight, curved. Straight, curved. It's an example of perspective. All right, now we're gonna draw 
a one guide this guideline for his eyes another one for his nose and this guideline for his mouth now what i'm gonna do is draw one of the eyes it'll be if you want to get a dime you can i'm gonna draw his eye on the back side here and then i'm going to draw another one right here All right, now let's draw his nose. And then we gotta draw a little bit of a straight line, a really small one for the nostril on his nose. And now we're gonna draw his mouth and it's gonna be about here. And we're gonna make him Kind of a happy guy. Because Fred Jones generally is a happy guy. Especially when he's leading Mystery Inc. It's a really flattened out M right there. And now we're going to put a little dimple in here. So I'm going to stop at his... Okay. And now... I'm going to draw his kind of a chin line. Well, not really a chin, but you'll see. Now we need to draw. It's kind of like an eye, but it's not exactly. other line and now we've got to draw one of the eyebrows it's going to be really thick on this end and then it's going to be thinner except this one is from the other will be different from the other angle we'll do later and now let's get the other eyebrow See, it's skinny on this end, and then it gets a little thicker here. I'm going to beef up this, these lines on his face. Make sure you make the chin a little round on here. make this line a little curved. All right, let's move on to his hair. Actually, we gotta kind of draw his ear next. And we're not gonna draw the whole ear because his hair will cover that. So we'll just draw this line right here. And then we gotta draw sort of a back, sort of an S shape, but it's really shallow S shape for the inside of his ear. And now we'll do his hair. So we're gonna start with this line that we've already put here. Draw curved there and a shallow curve here. And doing this hair is a little complicated, so try and take your time. It's, this one is sort of like half a leaf shape. And now we need to draw like this half oval and 
it goes up at like near the eyebrow. And now we need to make this point right here. And then we will go on to the other side of his hair. And unlike the bottom, this upper part of his hair will like be a little straight. And then we should also draw this other side of his hair. It's the same as this one, but like I said, with the eyebrows, it's from a different angle. And then we need to get the back side of his hair. So I'll just beef up that one. And remember, you gotta draw lightly at first, but then once you get the lines you want, you define them with dark can blinds. You can use your pencil or you can use a marker if you'd like. But in this one, I'm using a pencil. I've got these two points they, to make them look like hair. And now we need to beef up this line right there. If you need to turn your paper, that is fine as well. Now let's beef up these lines. Oh, remember, we have to Remember that the back side of his collar is the exterior. His this side gets smaller and this side gets bigger. It's called perspective. And then we'll get his collar. And get the knot. Now I then get the rest of his bow tie. Get the fold on there. Just darken everything. You wanna use a marker or your pencil or a, even an ink pen that works. And remember, to make sure you leave a little space on his collar or his bow tie to make sure it look like it's wrapping around him. And then like that. And let's get the rest of his bow tie. And the rest of his collar. All right, let's get his face, including his mouth. I'm going to put a little cheek line on his side of his dimple 
Then we'll get his chin and his nose. Darken in his pupil and shade color that in. And now I'm also going to color in his eyebrow. And darken this side of his hair too. And also the outer, maybe rim of his eye, you might say. And color in that pupil. And now I'm also going to darken and color in his eyebrows. And let's, to finish this off, we'll darken in his hair and also his ear. So, there you go. You have Fred Jones. I hope you had fun following along with me, and feel free, if you did and it helped you, feel free to like, comment, or subscribe. Thanks for watching, thanks for learning, and hope to see you next time.